Welcome back to the Cutthroat Journey. Feel the passion. Let's get going. On this video, I use the Feather Artist Club SS. Let's see how the shave goes. Hi guys, and welcome back. Today's Monday, and uh, October 18th. So I have a shave for you here uh, with a dreaded cutthroat. And it's the Feather Artist Club SS. So this one, I just got in the mail on uh, Saturday. And I actually, I used it yesterday. I worked all weekend. And I used it uh, with the Schick Proline blade on yesterday, so Sunday. And it was a magnificent, smooth shave. Right now, I have a Feather Pro Guard in it. You can see that right there. Yep, right there. And I'm going to give it, uh, you know, a little bit of a whirl again here with that blade. The angle on this is very in intuitive. It, you put it against your skin. There's a little lip right here. And it gives you the angle. And uh, you could. it's pretty easy to find. So let me uh, get my, my soap going here and uh, get going here, guys. Yeah, busy weekend at work. The old graveyard shift. So nice to have a couple days off and... Um, that's just pretty much going to happen. Not really much anything planned right now. Um, what time is it right now? It's around 1, 1.45. So, I'm using Mike's. Mike's Peppermint and Rosemary. Uh, I have one shave soap, so I'm going to pretty much just go full force on this. I actually just went on the razor company and I bought... Uh, uh, Southern Witchcraft's uh, Unscented Shave Soap. I remember I bought that about three years ago, and that soap was super slick. It's a vegan base. So I'm going to be excited to get that again and uh, test that out. I know it's very thirsty, water-hungry. Um, just something different. I don't really need a, a scent right now. So, yeah, I was on uh, the Razor Company today, and... I was checking out, and I noticed they, they're charging shipping now, anything above $35. It's understandable. I know the one perk for me going to the Razor Company was the free shipping, anything above $10. So, a little disappointing that, I mean, they, I, mean I know it's the it was a good, probably a, a business decision for them, but um, it was just kind of nice having that free shipping incentive for the consumer, the customer. But, hey, I'll deal with it. I like the Razor Company. They're a good business. Fast shipping. I mean, they respond to customer service very well. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'll still stick with them for my grooming, wet shaving needs. I mean, yeah, this peppermint rosemary is actually Mike's formula. You can't beat it, guys. If you're in for a, a no nonsense soap at Slick Rick, I suggest getting Mike's soap. He's been around since. I mean, over a decade, definitely. I, I've been buying from him, from him for about eight years. And just go to his website, Mike's, I have to is it on here? Just type, type Mike's Shaving Soap on Google. I don't know the exact website. And it's not even on there. Yeah, you'll find it. So the uh, blade here, right here, this is what I put in, put in the razor. And it's uh, shave number two. I used the the uh, Pro Guard and the IBC and very great blade, you guys. Check it out. Oh, here's my shave brush by Viking Shaving Company. It's a custom. You see the pink? I got this brush pretty much made for my daughter, Isla Bear. And um, I just hold it dear. Very beautiful brush. She loved it when I bought it. Okay, let me get my pre-shave on. How are you guys doing out there? Hope your shave's going well. Hope the world's treating you well. Hope you guys are, you know, whoop, staying healthy, you know, staying happy and all in this, this difficult world with COVID and just uncertainty. Just get right here. I may just have to. I mean, that's what we have going on there. the cube. So, 
So we have a good a good ball game on tonight, guys. The Red Sox and the Astros. I'm gonna watch that. It's at uh, it's at eight oh eight Eastern Eastern time. Yep, I've been mixing it up using DEs and just having fun using straight razors, shavettes. Just enjoying, enjoying the journey, you guys. You know, having fun. That's what it's all about, isn't it? I'm enjoying making videos for you. So, just having a good experience. Here we go. Nice tips. Very nice. Super soft. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, I'd kind of appreciate if you hit that button right there. Stay tuned. Good news is Kyle shipped off the Colonial Razors prototype. That should be good to me maybe tomorrow. And I'll be doing a video soon. Not sure when. Super slick. I mean, this stuff needs a lot of water. Yeah, I would have to say, you guys, this Feather Artist Club is probably my favorite Shavette. Um, I'm going to definitely get the SR, the new one that, that came out. That, uh, maybe a half year ago. I may get the Commissori uh, hit version. Just to have it. I don't have a Commissori. Hmm. Feather guard blades are guarded, obviously, and offer a little protection. Uh, from nicks and stuff and cuts. Get this heated up here. Like that. Okay, let's get this. There you go, guys. Very nice. I think the pro lines are better though in this in this uh, razor, definitely. More smooth, actually. This is a highly regarded shavette by barbers and. in the community. I um, was inspired to get this by um, YouTube channel Shoot in the Shave and Red Island Shaver. Um, good channels. Go check them out, you guys. Good guys.
Yeah, definitely enjoy the Pro Lines better than this razor. Maybe I just need to give it a little more time, but um, Schick Pro Line was magnificent in this. This was $70 shipped from uh, Japan. I waited about three weeks. Have a little bit of a couple of like razor bumps on my Adam's apple area. That's my super scent right, right in here. A little, right, little irritation. Oh well. I've been using an Allen block, you guys. Post shave, my skin has been doing pretty good. Um, for acne and all, you could put Allen on that and just let it set over and it. Reduces the, the appearance of uh, acne and ingrowns. The left side of the face here. Switch hands. I always do that. I always suggest that. Just flopping everywhere, this ladder. It just glides right over the skin. It's very smooth. This very smooth shaver. Kind of outline that goop there. Relather my mustache area. Yeah, nice weather here in Pennsylvania. It's supposed to be in the 60s all week at the highs. And uh, just rinse that off. And the lows are going to be in the 50s. So I turned my, my air off. I had like my AC on. Going to let that off until probably, well, it gets a little colder. Some shout outs to some channels, you guys. Uh, go check out Huckman Shaves. Um, shoot the Shave. There's Red Island Shaver I enjoy watching. There's uh, Sugar Daddy Shaves. I, he's, he's, he has a good channel. He's been around for a few years. And uh, Shaving with Fuzzy. So check those out, okay?
Go, mustache. Try to stay away from this area of hair. I, I got myself recently. Just a little little weaker area kind of little micro cut it seems. Still kind of sensitive. Okay. I'm really itchy today on my underneath my nose with this. I'm not sure what's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna do a second pass. A little clean up pass. Let me do it above my goat here. Feather Pro cards. I'm not really liking it in this razor. Interesting. Huh. Okay, well, we testing it out. A little more tuggy for I, I noticed compared to the Pro lines. You may just have to stick with Pro lines with this razor. Not a biggie. I have 100. Actually, I have 150 of them, guys. I said I had 120, 150. So that's how good of a blade it is. Okay, let me just la relather here and um, we'll do the second second pass with the grain. <laughs> can't get that. I can't get a John Mellencamp song out of my head. Walking around the, the old logs, humming it and singing it. <laughs> yeah. That's all you first. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, it's a good song. Okay. No dreaded cutthroat, guys. The brother and I always joke about it. Text messages and all. The old dreaded cutthroat. <laughs> it's, you know what? You respect it. Yeah, it could be. It's dreaded. But you respect it. It's the best shave, best shave possible. Second use on this pro guard, so I'll see what what the distance is on it. I'm going to use it in the general single single edge as well. Just kind of push it. I I I've been the pro line blade that had like nine ten uses on it. I'm like you know what, I'm going to bend it and pull another one out for uh, testing this new razor. We start with a fresh blade, guys. That's my suggestion. Suggestion if you're testing new razors, use a blade that you know and use a fresh one.
And I saw you first. Vanilla and bourbon. <laughs> Yeah, pretty good shave here. Do the mustache area here and wrap it up for the for the shave. The handle, I did a nice, I like this little thumb screw. See it right there? You can tighten these handles up. That's what I love about these shave vets. The IBC has the same one. Just, you know, scales loosen over time and it's nice to just be able to tighten them up easier without taking a ball peen and smacking away on the the pins, getting an anvil out or something, you know. Here. Everybody plays the fool. Ah, the Aaron Neville song. <laughs> I had that in my head, uh, what was it, about two weeks ago. Ain't no exception to the rule. Because everybody plays a fool. Think about growing a pencil mustache for uh, November. Just kind of try to get this goat a little bit here around it. And I saw you first. I don't even know if I have the lyrics right on that song. It's one that they don't play on the radio too too often. Enter ben Mendoza. Ah, man, I'm getting it wrong. I, I mean, it was the first time I heard that song in probably 20 years. It, and it's probably his best song. I don't know why they don't play that song. It was just a, it's just a calm, relaxing song. All oh, Johnny Cougar songs are. Feather Shade Back, guys. Go get yourself one of these. I was talking to one of my coworkers last night. And I said, you know, her husband uses a straight razor. And I said, you know what? Get him one of these for Christmas. And he won't regret it. You can buy replaceable blades. You pop it in. There's no sharpening, no stropping. And boom, you get a super uber edge here with this, guys. I'm really enjoying this razor. This blade, I don't know if it was the best pair in this razor. So I'm going to have to do some more testing with this blade in this in, in this uh, specific razor here. I liked it in the IBC, the Feather Pro Guard, um, but I may have to stick to maybe Feather Pro lines with this with this razor. Overall, it looks like a good shave. No nonsense as typical per the cutthroat journey, <laughs> but yeah, I'm happy with it. Close, comfy, it was a day of growth here. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the Feather uh, SR Commissory, I believe I'm gonna try with the pink handle. And if I if I do get it, I'm gonna get it from Geo at ShaveNation.com. Geo, I, I I support his business. He was one that got me into the wet shaving, so I'll support him as long as I can. He's a good guy, he has a channel, uh Geo Fat Boy. Everybody knows Geo Fat Boy. I may, I may send you an email just kind of thanking him for transitioning me many years ago. And Gio always has a good attitude. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty good. Ain't going to complain about that, guys. You know? Well, I think I'm going to do another shave tomorrow, so you guys will see that. I'll use the uh, 
I'll use this razor again. I'll, I'll put a pro line in it and just use it for the second second use and then go from there. So, uh, you know, overall, close, comfortable shave, no, no burning. I'm going to hop in the shower here and uh, do my my post shave then. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys soon. You're going to get a first chair to cutthroat journey, guys. So I'm getting in the shower to do my post shave and I'm thinking, I didn't even shave the, the side of my throat. <laughs> I'm losing it, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do that right now. Oh, my, you guys. I tell you what. Working that old graveyard shift. It's something. You feel it. I don't have a whole lot of leather here, but... Let me just see what I can do here. Just kind of get a... Oh, my, I tell you what. This shave's going down, if you know what I mean. Can't win them all, guys. Yeah. Can't win them all. Cause everybody plays the fool. Yeah, pretty good. That's what happens when I get the blithering, you know, you kind of freaking do some things. Okay, well, let me hop in the shower again, guys, and I'll see you soon. Okay, guys, so I'm back after I uh, just hop in the shower. I took about 10 seconds, rinsed my face off. I want to show you my sneak peek at my post-shave routine. And what I do is I run cold water, and I wet my face with the cold water to close, close the pores up. And then I'm going to do the Allen block. And that just seals up the pores even more and uh, just kind of prevents bacteria from getting in. So let's do that right now. I'm going to do my whole post shave routine here with you guys. So right there, my face wet. I'm gonna take the aloe block and just go over my face. And this is great for seeing how your shave was too. There's no burning, so it looks like a did pretty good there. So I put that away here and I let that on for about a minute and then I rinse it off and then I'll apply the balm. But while I'm, now I'm doing that, I take my cup here, my old, old spray shaving mug and I let the water out. Get my brush and I just get all this, the lather out of that. Always when you're Get in the lather out of the brush. Make sure all of it is out, guys. It will damage your brush over over time if you leave lather in it. So I do that very thoroughly. And I'll bring up one thing, guys. So I'll strop this brush on my towel. I have a big pet peeve about buying used, used of anything, really. And when I say this, you guys may think, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've been doing this over the years. But watch what I do here. And a lot of gentlemen do this. I will never buy a used shave brush, even, even soaps or whatever. And I'll show you why. So here's what's going to happen. I do that. I ran out. Okay. And I go over to my towel that I just used cleaning my body off with. And I strop on that. 
So think about it, guys. Just think about what, what's going on right here. I just use that to just dry my body off. And I go over here and I'm stropping it, you know? And then I'll go on the used market and I see gentlemen, yeah, here's a shade brush here I got for you guys. You want to buy? I don't, I tell you what, I bet you a lot of people after seeing this video may say, oh my gosh, I'm never going to buy another shade brush ever again. Because when you strop it on your, your towel, it gets it all nice and, and it could dry pretty easily. So sorry for the bad news, guys. <laughs> uh, but I just like to show the truth here at the Cut Road Journey. I'll never buy a U shade brush due to that. Nothing that you can't barb aside the shade brush. Yeah, you can you can clean it with soap and water, but you get the idea still. You know, not doing it. Okay, so rinse off the alum. Then I will apply my soap commander. Balm, best balm on the market. Check it out, guys. Subcommander.com, Christian-based business. I really enjoy buying from them. Family-run business. So, go. I just do with the grain, like when I just do this. So everything's with the grain, not rubbing. In all the areas. Okay, so there's that. So I'll let that soak, well, absorb into my, my skin. And while that's going on, I, I got soap all over the floor over here. I get my razor and I start taking that down. If it's a shavette, I uh, take the blade out and I uh, Rinse it off, and I apply isopropyl alcohol to it. This doesn't, with the Feather Pro Guard, I can't just like open up the, the door on that and just pop it out. It doesn't, I gotta take the whole door off this Feather Artist Club. I had to do that, like just when I was testing, I had to do that the other day. So that's pretty clean. Because I saw so, I get my isopropyl alcohol spray out, and then, well, if you guys can see here, I spray it down. Just decreases the chances of bacteria getting on this. And then I rinse it off. Just kind of a quick, you know, a quick shot at it. And then I take it over to my towel. And I dry it off there. I always make sure everything's dry even with the scales and all. And for traditional straight razors, you definitely have to make sure the inside the scales are dry. This not necessarily as much. It's not gonna, it's not gonna uh, uh, rust, so that's not a big deal. But I just do it just due to an OCD thing of just getting everything perfect. And just kind of staying to tradition with my, my den and all. And that's what I've been doing with my straight, so I'm gonna do it with my shavettes. I'm a man of, of man of habit, guys. I despise change. <laughs> I hear people say, I love change. I'm thinking, oh my gosh. I just, I've never liked change. And to me, if I just keep a routine, <laughs> it keeps me happy. <laughs> so there's that. Looks all nice and nice and ready for uh, tomorrow. So I'm going to put that right down here on my towel. And then I'm gonna take my blade, the Feather Pro Guard, right here. Just do a, there you go. Sometimes I just be very careful. I just kind of, you know, just like get along the, the blade there and rinse that off, dry it off. This is my routine every time, guys. It's how long it takes. And you see, real time, it's already, wow, seven minutes? <laughs> well, hey, just giving it straight to you right here. This is what happens. And I'll put that up here in my, my medicine cabinet. And 
Now it's time for my brute. Got this at the Dollar General. It's a cheap classic splash after shave compared to brute. Dollar General, two dollars. So the after shave balm is pretty much absorbed into my skin. There may be some little remnants, but then I put this on and just kind of finalizes my shave here. Oh yeah, no minimal burn. Feeling fresh, guys. Nothing beats a good shave. Just pinnacle, ep just epic. So that pretty much sums it up, guys, for this shave here. I appreciate you staying tuned, and if you watched it to the end, I truly appreciate it. Um, the prototype's coming in. I'm hoping to get it tomorrow. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to do, uh, an, an unveiling, uh, shave and all. So that may be, maybe a week or so. I want to get it right, uh, just for the channel and then for also the business as well. So, uh, you know, guys like subscribe and share, get the channel out, get the word about out there, get the word out about it. And I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you next episode. Take it easy. I appreciate all the support. See you next episode.